Hi folks, it's William Everhart with Quarantine Studio, here once again in the studio. Now today I have with me a big black box. Uh, yeah, we've actually been waiting on this for quite some time. It is a rather large uh, foam box. Uh, this is a foam insert. It came in a cardboard box, of course. Uh, but still, what's in the box? Well, we're going to find out here in just a moment. But first, I want to talk about this foam. Uh, we are moving away, hopefully, from the traditional closed cell white styrofoam uh, that our kits normally come in. Uh, it's great. It adds a lot of protection, but it can be a little messy if you're taking parts in and out a lot. And while we haven't really had any complaints, we do know that a lot of our customers well, they have to move their collection or change their collection around. And so the boxes are a great, safe way to, you know, transport or even keep uh, your statues. And so we decided to go maybe in a little bit different direction. Um, once again, the white styrofoam did great, but it can get a little messy, can just start to fall apart when you're taking parts in and out a lot. So we decided to go with this other stuff. And I don't know exactly the name of the foam. It's more of an open cell foam, but it's made out of kind of like a vinyl or plastic or something. And it's kind of squishy. Um, it's rigid enough to give the support that it needs, but it is a little squishy and it doesn't tear apart nearly as bad as that uh, closed cell styrofoam. So uh, some great new stuff here. And as you can see, it's a pretty good sized chunk of foam. Uh, let me see if I can get this to stand up. Oh, it's heavy too. Uh, the foam itself is not, but, um, but man, look at the size of that box, man. That's huge. So um, what's in the box? What's in the box? Um, well, uh, let's just take a look. Uh, let me just turn it around this way. I think it's going to be a little bit easier for me. And I'm going to carefully lift the top off here. And we'll just push this aside. Um, and then I want to show you what's in the box. Uh, now, this is a test shot. Uh, this came from the factory. This is a hand-cut sample, um, but from this, they will make their measurements and, and go from there. And so, uh, but there it is. Look at all those parts, all those beautiful pieces. Uh, this is our Templar's Rain uh, kit. This is a project we've been working on and off for quite some time now, and we are so excited. It's almost here to the finish line. We are almost here on the U.S. shores with this. Um, this was a paint sample um, sent from the factory. And so what I'm going to do is while I talk about it, I'm just going to take some of the parts out and start assembling it. Um, nice big heavy base. Uh, base alone probably weighs about three or four pounds. Uh, solid, solid resin there. Uh, really nicely detailed inside and out. I mean, look at the little wood timbers that are in here. Uh, great. Great stuff. So we're going to set that there. Um, then we're going to go with the main body. Now, uh, we're offering this as a pre-painted statue, which is what, you, of course, you're seeing here. But we're also going to offer this as a model kit. So uh, in either case, it's the same molds. It's just for the pre-paint, uh, a lot of the assembly is done for you. So as you can see, this body has the legs and one of the arms and, you know, most of the bulk of the kit is already put together here for you and pre-painted. The chain mail armor here is so freaking detailed. It's, it's ridiculous. Uh, this was sculpted um, by an artist, and I will never pronounce your name correctly, Aaron. I'm sorry. So Aaron B. Uh, <laughs> B. Um, I, I think it's Beinhardt, but Beinhardt. Uh, but if I, if I misspoke that, I, I, I apologize. I'm sorry. Uh, but Aaron did an amazing job. Um, like I said, every little link in that chain is there, and you can see it. And not only did he sculpt it digitally, but then, of course, he printed it uh, as well. And these 3D printers now, it is just amazing the detail that you can get out of these things. And so all of the texture in the cloth, of course, the texture, the individual links in the chain is there. I mean, it's just crazy. And then our factory is able to uh, actually hold that detail uh, within the molds and then within the castings here. So, um, like I said, this is one of the castings. This is not a 3D print, uh, but it's based off of that. Uh, original 3D print. So um, the detail is just stunning. Um, 
Other things, uh, something we've been doing for quite some time here at Quarantine Studio is the fact that parts like this, while they do have a key, we have removed the pins. You know, we used to have those steel pins and then uh, the receiving end would have like a little rubber grommet in it. Uh, no, for some time now, we have been using magnets. So these parts just kind of click right into place. I don't know if you saw that, but they just, uh, if I find a little hole for it, it just clicks right in place and holds there. Um, we still use the pins on the feet. That's a main connection point from the, from the uh, statue to the base. So we will still use uh, large keys and a large thick metal pin there just for stability. But all of these accessories, uh, they're just gonna have a big magnet. Uh, speaking of which, big accessory here, um, our Templar's shield. That's a rather large shield. I mean, I don't have tiny hands and you can see that thing's almost as big as my hand. Um, once again, Tons of detail on the inside of this thing and a huge honking magnet right there. It just clicks right into place and stays there. Now, uh, the other arm, we have a beautifully detailed sword, a lot of battle damage here, and a lot of little details in here as well. Um, a little bit of script work in there. The glove or gauntlet, however you want to say that. Um, all the little leather seams and everything, all of that detail is in there, and that's because uh, we worked with an incredible artist. Uh, Aaron uh, just did an amazing job with this. He left nothing out, um, and that's that's why we like working with people like Aaron. We we um, we want all of those details. We're geeks just like you guys. We love this stuff. We geek out on it, and so we want all of those details there. And by golly, he did not disappoint with this one. So um, there we are now. Uh, moving right on up here, uh, we have a collar piece here, and you say, well, why would you do that separate? That'll be a little more apparent here in a moment. Uh, but even this is magnetized. The magnet is buried in here and then, uh, of course, covered over and painted over, so you don't even see the magnet. It just drops right into place. And then we have ugh, this wonderful helmed head, lots of battle damage on there. This guy has seen uh, his share of battles here, and so... Uh, there you have it. Now, if you've been following us um, and this particular piece for a while now, uh, you'll know that this is pretty much what we've had up to this point. And um, um, there's been some more to this. Um, it was always there, it's just we just didn't have it quite ready in time for some of the initial shots. And so this is the, the, um, the icing on the cake here. We have a beautiful flowing uh, Templar um, flag here and then it comes with a nice solid steel rod so you don't have to worry about this thing bending over time it just slides right up in there like so and then there's a nice little hole here in the base and it's just going to sit right in there and it just really completes that little vignette there i mean look at that isn't that cool how awesome is that that's beautiful let me spin it around this way so you can get a little little shot of it this way here Look at that. And so, you know, we wanted to keep this kind of compact. So, I mean, it is a little close here, but there's still, you know, a good half inch, three quarter of an inch between the flag and the, and the statue itself. Uh, but we didn't want to have this thing, like a lot of these statues now are getting just ginormous and taking up so much shelf space. And, and we really don't like to do that. Um, we like to give you some options here, let you have a little more room for some more statues. So uh, anyway, we think it makes for a great piece. Uh, it looks amazing. Now, uh, I was talking about that collar, and why is this collar piece here separate? Well, that's because, uh, you know, here at Quarantine Studio, we like to give uh, our products um, a little more appeal. So, crazy amount of detail, check, uh, but then we like to have options, because not everybody maybe likes a particular style. So, uh, one of the options uh, we've added is we take this helmed version and that neck piece off. And then there's another neck piece here that has uh, the chainmail armor. Once again, all of that detail, it's magnetized as well, drops right in there, it's beautiful. And then we have, and if I can get it out of here, there we go, uh, an unhelmed head here. So that'll just drop right in there. And there you have it. So uh, a really nice dynamic, just screaming his, uh, his victory cry there. Um, and I think it looks great. I really like that version of it. So um, just another option for you. Um, now, 
as cool as that is, you know here at Quarantine Studio, we can't leave well enough alone. So we'll give you more, more options. Let's take a look here. I'm gonna take this head off. And so uh, doing some research uh, for this piece some time ago, um, that was really cool, learning about the Templar Knights. Whether you agree with what happened there, it's part of history, it's, it's all said and done. I'm not agreeing and disagreeing with any of that stuff, I'm just saying here it is. Um, I think this is really cool. But that happened 700 plus or minus uh, years ago. So what if they were to come back? Uh, so of course, being Quarantine Studio, you gotta have a zombie version of your Templar Knight. <laughs> so uh, we've got a, a zombie head here. Um, all three heads and the, the two neck pieces, all of these will come with every kit. So no matter which one you choose, I think there is something here for everyone, uh, depending on what you, which version you like. So um, just a really cool feature that we like to add to all of our pieces. So that's it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this preview of uh, this unboxing of our Templar's Reign. Um, I think it's going to be an incredible kit. And like I said, if you want one, head on over to Quarantine Studio right now and you can pre-order yours today. Well, that's it for this time. My name is William Everhart saying beast wishes to you all. <laughs>